this video, I'm going to show you how to use explain and uh, index in MongoDB campus. Um, so in other videos, we discussed on documents and uh, aggregations tab. Um, and next to the aggregations tab, we have uh, the thing called explain plan. And then the fourth one called the indexes. And we can use these two tabs to set the index and to check performance of a MongoDB find query. So explain plan tab, it looks similar. It provides similar uh, panel as a documents tab, um, which you can apply a filter and uh, sort, you know, limit, project, all those things. Here, you can simply fill it out. Um, and we are uh, doing um, the operation on our insurance data set. Um, and we have 1,338 documents. Uh, and using explain uh, the plan type, we can um, simply, for example, I uh, let's do one um, filter. Um, age is greater than mm, 30. Okay, so that is filter condition. Um, and similar to uh, the expensing tax in SQL, and we can create one query and like what I just did, and click the expand button. And it's going to show us the uh, summary of our performance. And the thing we care most is like how many documents will be returned and how many documents um, were uh, exempt. So basically, um, now you can see the number of documents got exempt equals the total number of documents we have in the collection. And it means that MongoDB um, now is doing a full collection search. And I need to check all the documents in the collection and check the same future condition to decide whether the documents will be returned or no. Um, and then you can see we're not running, we're not using any index, and then we're doing a full collection search, so that makes sense. Um, and you can modify this panel, um, and which looks exactly the same um, as a uh, the documents tab. Um, so that is how we can use explain and to see the performance of the query. Um, again, that's the thing, um, if, especially if you have a very large uh, collections and with uh, a lot of documents, I would suggest you to make an evaluation on your query using this explain function first and to um, just get an idea how long the query um, will be executed and before you actually run that. Um, and then the um, next thing, now you say I don't like it because uh, it does a full collection search and it takes too long. And the next thing you can do is you can go to the indexes tab and to check what kind of index we have. And now basically we don't have anything and we just have one ID and that is the one created by MongoDB. Uh, you can simply consider it as a primary key for all the documents. Um, but uh, when you do the search, it doesn't really make use of it. Um, so what we can do is that uh, we can create an index by clicking the create index button um, and to manually create an index on the fields that we used uh, in our query. Um, so in the previous query, we use age column, uh, I mean age field. Um, so here we can simply create an index on uh, the age field. Before that, we need to give an index name, which helps MongoDB to locate the specific index. So you can give any name. Uh, let me just call it in the age. And then you need to define your index. The index will be um, created on which field, and uh, it provides you a drop-down menu, include all the fields you have uh, in the collection. Uh, we can simply select the age. And then the second thing I ask is whether you want to do ascending or descending or uh, to the sphere. And the last one is usually used for uh, location data and where you have when you have the longitude and latitude. Um, so usually we use one of these, either ascending or descending. Um, it doesn't really uh, make a lot of difference. Um, and usually it depends on how your, uh, your query, how your future condition uh, will be used. And the saying if you usually use a greater than uh, condition and probably you want to do a um, ascending. Um, and uh, if it's another way and probably you want to do a descending. Um, 
and basically it gonna affect um, the search on index. So whether the search on index will start from the smallest value or start from the largest value. Uh, in our case, it doesn't really matter. So let's just do ascending. Um, and we only want to create a, a very simple index on one field. So we uh, finish that. I uh, think we're good. So just click the create index button. Um, and for this create index, uh, the process, it takes some time, especially when you have a large uh, collection. Um, so if your collection is very large and includes like let's say millions of documents, it probably gonna take a couple of minutes. Um, so you just need to wait, um, it's patient. And then now we're good. And uh, whenever you go to this index page and you will see your the index we just created in the age and on the age column, uh, the size of the index, and that's something you can, you can see. If you don't like it, you simply click the job button to remove it. Uh, so now let's go back to explain. Um, let's use exactly the same thing and the filter condition on age and click the explain button again and to see whether we got any change. After that, you can see that, oh, it's good. And the number of documents examined got reduced and because the query used the following index age. So that is a good thing. Um, and now you can see how it does is that firstly, um, it goes to the uh, in the age index um, and a search for in the in the index first and then fetch the documents that we want um, for us. So that is the thing uh, we can see from um, this result. Um, and I mean definitely we can uh, we can create um, saying for example let's add another uh, female. So let's add another condition. Um, so age larger than 30 and um, sex equals female. Um, so you can see again, the same thing, we examine the same number of records and among this group um, of records, uh, which has age larger than 30 and it gonna further do a search on the sex and the return the selected uh, uh, documents. So that's information you can get. Uh, let's go back to index. Let's try to create another index. Uh, a compound index, it's called a compound index. Let's make use of two fields, uh, one on sex. Um, so I, just, I also do uh, ascending. And then uh, you can click the green add another field button and to add another one. So I'm gonna do another on H. So then in this case, that makes it the compound index and which uh, is firstly applied on sex and then applied on H. So let's create this compound index um, and then let's come back to see whether we got any change here. Okay, so after you explain, you can see that the documents explain, uh, exam got reduced because now uh, in both fields in your condition uh, are in one specific compound index. So you're gonna make use of this compound index instead of the single index. And it's gonna search by sex first and then search by age. So that is a thing uh, we can get. And what if, um, say I don't want it, I delete it. So when MongoDB Campus, when you delete it, you need to manually tap the name of the index to drop it. So what if, let's create another compound index, um, but we switch um, the age and the, uh, and the sex. So the position for this two, create an index. So what if I'm doing that and then I come back, I use the same query, let's do explain. So when you do explain, you can see other things are uh, fine, but the index keys exam got changed. Why is that? Because you changed the order of age and now your query search for the age first and then search for index. Um, so we still return and examine the same number of documents, but the index keys exam got changed. And because after you change the order and the keys in your index got changed. Um, so that also shows you that order matters. Um, and now if I simply put 
uh, if I remove this age filter, I simply put sex filter, explain again, and you will see that there's no index got used. And because our compound index, it's applied on age first and then sex. So it cannot use a second component in the index directly without the first one. Um, so in this case, if you don't want to create any other index, so in this age, uh, if you want to make use of the index, you have to put uh, age in your filter condition. Um, or you can put both age and the sex in your filter condition. But if you just put the sex in the filter condition, it will not uh, use the index. It's going to do a full collection search as well. Um, so basically, that's it. What we have for the last tab, the explain plan tab, and the indexes tab, which can help you to manage the index and help you to check the performance of your query. Um, I don't think it can work on aggregations. Um, so let's say for now, it only provides you the uh, the panel uh, for the find the query and with the uh, filter condition and with the uh, project sort. So that is a uh, the performance you can check.